Hi everybody, in this class we are going to discuss the structure of pancreas and the fun function of pancreas. So far we have discussed the elementary canal and the associated gland liver, the associated gland known as liver and today we are going to discuss another associated gland that is pancreas. Before that we need to know the functions of liver right. So functions of liver. functions of liver okay first of all liver produces bile it produces bile liver produces bile cells okay this bile cells what it does this bile cells acts upon the fats acts upon the fats that are present in the intestine Okay, so bile salts acts upon the fats present in the present in the intestine. Okay, so bile salts act upon the fats present in the intestine, and we know that the bile is secreted in the duodenum the bile is secreted in the duodenum by the common bile duct and the opening the opening known as sphincter of podi that ends in the duodenum so this bile cells they act upon the fats present in the intestine okay so when they are acting upon the fats okay so usually the fats that are present in the intestine they are present in the larger globules they are present in the larger globules larger globules okay if they are present in the larger form larger form so this larger form this larger form will not this larger form will not be uh, this larger form cannot be acted by the help of cannot be acted by enzymes cannot be acted by enzymes so they need to be broken down into smaller globules they need to be broken down into smaller globules by the help of bile so this breaking down of larger globules into smaller globules is known as what is known as emulsification emulsification of fats emulsification of fats emulsification of fats so when they are present in larger globules in the small intestine enzymes cannot break them okay enzymes cannot break them and which enzymes acts upon the fat globule it is lipase right it is lipase that comes from the pancreas that comes from the pancreas so the bile cells they do not have bile cells they do not have any enzymes okay bile cells okay so bile cells they do not have any enzymes so okay so enzymatic reactions will not take, will take place only this bile will break down the larger globules into smaller globules that process is known as what emulsification of fats then this emulsified fats are going to be acted by the enzyme known as lipase enzyme known as lipase and this lipase is secreted from the pancreas it is secreted from the pancreas okay so here this is the first and foremost function we need to keep it in mind keep it in mind what is that function emulsification of fats done by bile and bile is produced where in the liver it is produced in the liver so this is the first function that we need to keep in mind and the second function is the second function is storage form of glucose storage form of glucose so liver function of liver right so liver helps to store storage of glucose storage of glucose in the form of 
glycosid in the form of glycosid so glucose is stored in the form of glycosid now here so what all process is going to take place in this in this process i am going to explain so here so how the glucose is stored when we are consuming when we are consuming the food that contains what starch fats proteins so the food is the excess food or the excess glucose is going to get converted into storage form known as glycogen this is storage form of glycogen okay storage form of glycogen what happens the glucose extra glucose extra glucose is converted into glycogen extra glucose is converted into glycogen okay it takes place where in the liver so extra glucose is converted into the storage form of glucose known as glycogen and this process and this process is known as glycolysis this process is known as glycolysis okay glycolysis okay so glucose stored on the storage of glucose the stored form of glucose is known as glycogen and whenever and whenever if the body if the body is having less amount of glucose less amount of glucose what happens at that moment the glycogen stored form glycogen is again going to break down and form what glucose and form what glucose so stored form of glycogen is again broken down to release what glucose to release group glucose okay by this we get what energy by this we get energy so what we are talking about we are talking about the breaking reaction of glycogen here breaking reaction of glycogen in first the construction reaction of glycogen now here it is breaking reaction of glycogen okay breaking reaction of glycogen okay so these are the two important functions that and that is performed by the liver that is performed by the liver so we saw functions of liver we saw two functions okay the first one was the production of bile and how the bile acts on fats and the next one was next one was um, glucose converting into glycogen glucose converting into glycogen glycogen is the stored form of glucose so in this we are going to see about the structure of pancreas and the function of pancreas structure of pancreas and the function of pancreas pancreas is having what head part here you can see head part and neck part body part tail part so the head here you can see this is head part pancreas has head part and here a slight a slight invigilation invigilation or the constriction or the or the deep invigilation invagination okay this forms the neck so this is head part of the pancreas head and this depression deep depression here will be the neck part and the main part the main part is known as body and the ending part of the pancreas is known as tail is known as tail so the head part of the pancreas is going to get attached into the duodenum it is fixed into the duodenum so this is what duodenum so the head part of the pancreas is attached to the duodenum and okay attached to the duodenum in previous video 
in order to explain you better i have drawn pancreas slightly slightly little away from the duodenum and i i explained you what all ducts are present but here here okay not pancreas is not separated from the duodenum it is attached to the duodenum the head of the pancreas is attached to the duodenum or the duodenum encircles or duodenum makes a slight curve curve to the head of the pancreas head of the pancreas now here would be the duct here would be the duct of wilson duct of wilson and the duct that comes from the liver known as bile duct and it would open here in the duct of wilson it is also known as pancreatic duct right so there is an there is an sphincter there is a sphincter which to which we call it as sphincter of boyden right this will be sphincter of boyden sphincter of boyden so sphincter of boyden joins to the pancreatic duct now pancreatic duct now and this pancreatic duct would open into the duodenum okay open into the duodenum by another sphincter known as sphincter of sphincter of odile sphincter of odile before that we have this swollen structure known as ampulla of bladder but okay all those things we have discussed in the previous video so here this would be the structure it has head neck body and tail head neck body and tail now we are going to discuss about the function of the pancreas our function of the pancreas function of the pancreas so now we are going to discuss the functions of pancreas functions of pancreas pancreas secretes pancreatic juice pancreas the secret what pancreatic juice pancreatic juices okay in the pancreatic juices what will be present the enzyme the enzyme known as trypsin the enzyme known as trypsin and the enzyme known as pancreatic pancreatic lipase or commonly called it is called as lipase and the third one okay known as pancreatic amylase pancreatic amylase and amylase we are we also come across the enzyme known as amylase in the saliva okay so here also pancreatic amylase is present in the pancreatic juice so trypsin what it does this is this enzyme is this enzyme acts upon proteins this enzyme the act upon protein the act upon protein the act upon proteins so trypsin acts on acts on proteins and pancreatic lipase this is very important function this is very important function invariable invariable questions are asked on this lipase so pancreatic lipase in okay by it will help it will do what emulsification of fats now that emulsified fats are again broken down by the help of lipase by the help of lipase so this lipase what it does the emulsified emulsified fats are digested or broken down further by the help of lipase by the help of lipase and we know that complete digestion takes place in small intestine so pancreatic lipase is secreted where in the intestine in the intestine the first 
the first intestinal part which receives the enzymes like trypsin, lipase and pancreatic amylase is the duodenum. So duodenum is the part of small intestine. So lipase acts on the emulsified fats and broken, uh, breaks it down further. And the next one is known as pancreatic amylase. Pancreatic amylase. The starch present. This amylase function is to break down starch, right? Break down starch and converts into and the starch is converted into glucose. The starch is further converted into glucose by the help of enzymes. So the important function we need to know is trypsin and lipase. Trypsin and lipase. Okay, trypsin and lipase. So all this we have discussed in today's class. More details we are going to go or we are going to learn in the next video. Thank you so much.